Hi everyone and welcome to 3D Survey Tutorials. Today we'll show you how to use our software in the fields of forensic. With our software we will produce a CAD sketch out of photogrammetry data. As you can see here we have images that were taken with Phantom 4 Pro. They were triggered with the circle mode with a GS Pro app. If we click on a sparse point cloud we can see how they were triggered. This circle mode is best to calculate dense point cloud, but if you want to focus more on orthophoto as a result, the simple single grid mission with nadir images is the best option for data acquisition. So here we have two cars, road, cross sections and many more. And the next step from the point cloud is digital surface models. So we can see here, of course, we can apply different view styles. For example, in this case, we have exact position of the Z level points. The next data type is orthophoto, which is in this case really accurate, really detailed. The resolution of the orthophoto is less than one centimeter. What the forensic need in this case is an end result in a CAD drawing based on which they can decide all the technical parameters. And now I'd like to show you the easiest way to draw the CAD inside the 3D service software. We advise you to click on DSM here in the right corner of the software. We already classified out the cars and the buildings. So uh, we have just the digital terrain model. I click on the drape ortho for to stitch the ortho image to my terrain level. And now I'll do it without the grid. After you see this and do this, click on point cloud and DSM to add point cloud additionally over the terrain. Now we just need to move to the CAD tab. And here we have the full functionality of the CAD. Let's create a new layer. First, I'd like to vectorize the road, make the vector active, select any color you'd like to add. For example, I selected blue, then select the thickness of a line and then we can start with drawing. So first, I'd like to draw the road from the model. It's the same way as if we would be measuring outside on the field. We can measure 3D lines in detail in 3D survey. If you click on the settings, you can add also the 2D distance or 3D distance. So you have a better representation of how far you can go to the next point and just continue drawing 3D lines. When you're satisfied, click right mouse click to finish the line. And just continue with another side of the road. You can rotate or zoom and inspect in detail if you need to have a very accurate position of the 3D line. Okay, so in this way we can vectorize all the details we would like to have, some distances from specific objects and so on. For now, we'll skip this part of the drawing and we'll return back to you with almost finished end results. We are back after around 45 minutes of drawing. You can already see our CAD lines, 3D lines calculated or connected based on point cloud data and texturized 3D surface model. If I turn on the point cloud, and DSM. Now we just see the 3D lines and the point cloud. On the right side, we have all the layers which we created. As you can see, road marks, road lines, cars, objects of interest, ground control point, checkpoints. Now I'll go to the point cloud and turn off the point cloud. We can see just 3D lines. So those are actually very correct distances, correct scales, based on which we can perform those measurements. We can also see this on the orthophoto. If I turn it off, 
So here is my position and the position of our two cars. There is nothing more left to do than to export those data as DXF, let's say in a, a result folder, CD drawing, and then you can import it in on any other CD software like AutoCAD, Microsurvey or something alike. Let's just open Microsurvey quickly. Okay, now we'll click on open and select DXF. Open, select DXF. Here it is. Okay, couple of more seconds. Okay, zoom, extend, and here we can see our model. It is very nicely made with all the details, 3D lines. If we open layer tab, we can see all the layers. For example, if I select, deselect car one and car two, we lose them here. And now what I can do is I can also import orthophoto, which I saved in TIFF file. Because everything is in correct location, we will be able to see also orthophoto under it. Okay, and this was our forensic tutorial. Thanks for listening and hope to see you back.